In 2013, Lomography announced that they were releasing a brand new film to the market, which on their part was a really bold move, considering the future of analog photography wasn't looking so great. And the film that they released was Lomochrome Purple. They produced this film in 35, 120, and also in motion formats such as 16, and I believe in Super 8 as well. Now, I remember, I say I remember, I vaguely remember buying a small bulk of Lemochrome Purple back in 2014. And I gotta be so straight up, I hated it. I mean, I didn't hate it, I think that's a really strong word. I was just really disappointed by it, considering what Lomography were kind of aiming for with this film, I certainly didn't get it. The pictures would look washed out in overcast weather and really grainy, and even in bright sunlight, it still looked kind of dull, considering this film, to me, was meant to be very bright and vibrant and something completely different. But it was pretty disappointing, so I didn't buy it again, and the films that I actually had left over, I used for film soups, and to be fair, even though I was disappointed by the stock, the results I got from souping the film, I'm still pretty happy by, so th there was that at least. <laughs> then in 2017, Lomography announces that they have come up with a new formula for Lomochrome Purple, and to be fair, I was pretty curious at this point. I wanted to see if there was an improvement to this film that I was so disappointed by, and there was. The improvement on this film was massive. The colours were brighter, the contrast looked significantly crisper and better, in all, this became such a great film to shoot with after, you know, quite a bit of trial and error. So saying that, I was quite confused that Lomography announced last year in 2019 that they have redone the formula again for Lomochrome Purple. Last summer, I decided to buy some of the revamped formula and I can see there was a slight improvement, so I guess Lomography just wanted to keep tweaking the formula until they got it just right. Most notably, the improvement was how the film performed in overcast weather. It wasn't washed out and dull, instead there was a warm of photos that I got, which was a huge improvement from 2014. Now, last year, I actually got one of Lomography's disposable cameras and I got the Lomochrome purple version. So I did an unintentional comparison because I believe that formula was from 2017 and I was using it alongside the new formula. Now the comparison isn't fair because I was using a disposable camera and with the new film I was using it in a Nikon F3 so obviously there's going to be a significant difference in the quality of the photographs. Though with that you can actually see that there is a slight difference between the two films. I still like the 2017 formula but the 2019 formula is definitely an improvement. Now the only real problem I have with Lomochrome Purple is that it just doesn't perform well indoors or in low light situations. The remaining photos I got with the disposable camera while using a flash weren't great, which was pretty disappointing, but I do feel like if I shot with an SLR or another type of camera that wasn't disposable with a flash or additional lighting or even in a studio, the colours will come out a lot better, just in my opinion it's far more suitable to be using it outdoors just because of the results that you can get. My final thoughts on Lumber Chrome Purple is that it's just a really good film. It's one of my favourites to use. I really appreciate Lomography investing in this film stock as myself and so many others have gotten so many incredible photographs. I asked my followers on Instagram to send me their favourite photos from using Lumber Chrome Purple and they've all gotten some really stunning and interesting shots. It's fun and it's beautiful and it really is something different on the analogue photography market. But I'm not exactly going to leave it just there about Lomochrome Purple because there's another film by Lomography that has seemingly just gone missing and that is Lomochrome Turquoise. Now this is a really sought after film. I mean over a year ago when I was desperate to make friend I actually sold my last roll of Lomochrome Turquoise on eBay and it went for £35. I mean that is Kodak Aerochrome territory. Now I know it isn't my place to talk about the future of Lomochrome Turquoise because I don't know the future of Lomochrome Turquoise. However I am gonna say my piece because this was just dm to me on instagram by an employee at lomography and i'm not going to name who it is because that isn't fair but the people need to know <laughs> people need to know what's going on what i was told in january 2018 was that there were plans that it wasn't confirmed but there were plans to bring back lomochrome turquoise so i don't really know and i don't know at all what's happening with this film because again i don't work at lomography but if they shelved it for a while, that's a massive shame. 
I gotta say now, I love Lomography and I really don't wanna step on anyone's toes by saying this. It's just, you guys really do have the marketing intelligence, unlike some other photography brands, to understand there is a demand for this film. The fact that I've managed to sell a roll for 35 pound kinda says a lot. Since the only drop of Lemma Chrome Turquoise, they have come out with new films. And obviously they worked more on Lemma Chrome Purple because it was the first of the Lemma Chrome range. But they also came out with some black and white films. They also had that limited special run of the F2 400 color film as well. And they also released the new Lemma Chrome Metropolitan, which I still gotta use and test because I haven't been too won over by that. And again, I really don't want to be stepping on anyone's toes and lomography by talking about this because I know in regards to business it's a whole different thing. It's just there's such a huge demand for this film and I'm someone who gets messaged about this quite a lot and I don't represent you guys and I really do feel like you need to bring back this film, do a Kickstarter or something because a lot of people will happily buy this film. So please, please Lomography, come back with Lomacron Talkways, we miss it so much. It was so beautiful, it was so fun. I miss having orange skies in my photos. So with that, I'm gonna end this video here and thank you so much for watching because I know I haven't uploaded in about eight months. If you wanna know why, I posted something in the community tab on this page. But other than that, I will catch you in the next video at some point. Bye.